I can see you there. Welcome to the Windhammer School of Music. Come, let's take a walk. As you walk through these illustrious halls, you'll hear many different types of agata. Oh, let's take a peek in here. That's my friend Harry. He's a violinist. Now let's check on what's going on in here. That's my friend Daniel. Let's pay him a visit. Oh, hello, Linda. Hello, Daniel. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. What did you come by for? Well, I would like to discuss with you about the brother. Oh, yeah. The brother is very difficult. I feel that it's very personal, physically and musically. And it's difficult for students to get a strong foundation so that they may find the vibrato that fits them the best. Well, that's great. Do you have any exercises you would recommend? Sure. Let's go through together some exercises from beginner to more advanced and see if we can help our students some more. Great. All right. Let's start from the very beginning. I would like you to grab a box of mints. Now, you will realize if you shake it up and down like this, you get a very good shaking sound from the mint box. If you go like this, it sounds very dirty. This is the correct cello vibrato motion. This is incorrect. So be sure you hear the nice shaking of the mint box. Now, let's place our arms against the wall so that we can isolate the motion only to our forearms. This allows us to get an accurate feel of what we will feel like when we put our arms on the finger board. Now, let's remove the mint box from our hand and let's put our arms, our, our fingers, right here in the middle of our chest. Now, try to maintain the same type of motion that you got from the mint box. This is how our fingers will feel if they're nice and relaxed when we do vibrato on the cello. Now, if you would please grab your cello and we are going to add our hand onto one of the strings and we are going to slide up and down in very broad motions. Try to make sure you maintain the same up and down feeling that you had when you had the mints in your hand. Keep all your fingers on the string. Try to feel nice and free. Once you feel comfortable with this, let's pretend we have little erasers on each one of our fingers. And let's try to erase a spot right here where first position is. Again, keep the same feeling of up and down without adding any weight so that you can stay very free. Now, let's take a few more steps before we add in the weight to our fingers and try real vibrato. All right, for the next exercise, let's put our cello down. If we keep it close, we'll need it very soon. Let's take our right arm and set it across our left shoulder. Let's take our left hand and put it on our arm like we are holding the cello. Now, put your second finger down like you're playing F natural on the D string. Let's move the arm just like you did in the previous exercise, but let's put the weight in our finger. Now you'll notice if your finger is relaxed, it starts to rotate a little bit, but you can really feel the natural elasticity of the skin and the meat in your arm. If you start twisting your wrist, you'll feel that your finger is not springing back and forth on your arm like it does when you do this. This is the difference of shaking the Altoids this way and up and down. All right, let's pick the cello up again. Let's take a nice piece of tissue and place it on the string right about where fourth position is. Now, let's use the same finger that we used in our arm exercise and add just a tiny bit of weight, just enough that you can feel the string going down towards the fingerboard. Let's try the same vibrato motion again. You should feel like the paper is just like your skin on your arm. It's moving back and forth a little bit, but you can really feel that your finger is still relaxed. This is very important because once we take the paper away and the string has friction, many people tend to get very tense. So keep practicing this to make sure that you can really feel relaxed and have the finger turn, right? Don't let it become this. Always let the motion initiate from the arm. You can even try some other fingers if you would like. 
Here's first finger, for example. See how the, the tissue keeps moving. Now here's th third finger. Same thing. Now fourth finger is very difficult. Keep it nice and relaxed. All right, for our next exercise, let's pretend that we're wearing a self-winding watch and it's out of battery, so we need to shake it. So let's put our finger right on the string where we were doing the tissue exercise. Let's put the weight in our finger so that we can feel the string touching the fingerboard, but don't press down too hard. Now, well, our watch is here and we need to be sure that we shake it. So if you do your arm motion the same way we did before, you should be able to imagine feeling your watch shaking back and forth. Now, if we twist our finger, you'll realize the watch won't be able to move so well. So we go back to our own motion, and the watch will be nice and charged. For this step, we are going to play a harmonic right in fourth position, but don't put the weight down. We're going to start moving the bow. We need to make sure that we can keep the vibrato motion going while we are coordinating a bow stroke. So put your, your second finger right on fourth position so we can play the E harmonic. Now. Get a nice relaxed vibrato going on this harmonic. Keep the bow near the bridge and moving at a steady speed. Let's try some of the other fingers. It's okay for the finger to move a little bit on the string as long as you're doing a nice relaxed vibrato. You'll see that even if you move up and down the string, the harmonic still speaks. Now, let's do the same thing again. And let's gradually add some weight and remember your self-winding watch. Now I'm going to slowly add the weight into my finger. And you hear it become a real note now. Now I need to make sure that I stay relaxed even with the weight in my finger and a good tone is in the, coming out of the cello. Remember your watch and keep the arm motion going. Be sure it doesn't become tight become twisting the wrist. Now we're going to do one last final exercise, which is for more advanced vibrato users. But I found it's very helpful for learning how to control your vibrato and create a nice, relaxed, artistic vibrato. I call it WIOS. And for the reason for that is, is because, as you notice as you move your vibrato, there's a top motion and a bottom. And for the purpose of the exercise, we're going to call it the up part, we, and the down part, O. We're going to sing a little pattern together that allows you to practice landing on the top part and the down part in different rhythms. I'll say it once and then I would like you to repeat it with me. It goes wee oh 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 wee we oh 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 we. Now we're gonna do the vibrato exercise, and we're gonna say that as we play it. And then make sure that your finger is lining up exactly with the part of the song you're on. We oh 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 we. Now you can. Do it faster or slower, and you'll notice that as you do it, it really helps you to learn how to control the speed of your vibrato so that you may stay relaxed and alternate it during a piece of music. Now it's easy for me to switch into a very relaxed vibrato as quick. On the other hand, Of course.
very important. Mm -hmm. Now let's bring Harry in. Sure, I think that would be really great for our viewers so they can see a beginner learning vibrato. Cool! This is like a fat, chunky violin! Now let's not get too excited, Harry. We won't be using the cello first. Oh! Okay. Let's, let's begin with the mint exercise that Daniel was talking about. Mm -hmm. I would like you to shake the mints up and down, like this, with the motion coming from the arm. Like this? Exactly. That's perfect. Now I would like you to put your elbow against the wall, your left elbow, and do the same exact motion. Now that's perfect. Now I'm going to take away the mix, and I want you to put your fingers against your sternum, and I want you to repeat the same motion as you did while shaking the mitts, keeping your fingers loose. Now, Harry, you can pick up the big chunky violin. Yes! Now, I want you to put your fingers on the A string. Yes, and I want you to move it up and down with your arm. Slide it up and down the top of the surface of the A string, just like that. Now, I want you to pretend that you have little erasers on the very tips of your fingers, and you're trying to erase a mark on the fingerboard in about first position. Yes. Now, relax, Harry. Make sure to remember to keep your fingers relaxed mm -hmm. and pretend you're still shaking the mints. Yes, that is perfect. Now, Harry, I would like you to put down the cello. What? I just got it! It's okay, Harry. Oh, okay. okay. Come back soon. Now, I want you to put your right hand over your shoulder like this and pretend that it's a cello fingerboard. Now, I want you to put your left hand on your forearm and, vib and vibrate with the same motion as you just did. You see, Harry, you're vibrating from the wrist. Make sure it comes from the arm. Make sure you feel the natural elasticity of your arm going back and forth, just like that. Now, Harry, we're going to try some vibrato with a nice piece of tissue paper. I want to put the tissue paper right here, and I want you to put your hand over it. And I want you to vibrate, sliding the tissue paper up and down with the motion coming from the arm. Perfect. Now, I would like you to use your second finger and take your other fingers off and put the weight into your second finger, just enough so that the string goes down. Now I want you to slide up and down the tissue paper, stemming from the arm. Now, Harry, I would like you to pretend that you have on a self-winding watch on your wrist. Now pretend that it is out of batteries and you have to take a few shakes in order to make it work again. Now please, vibrate and pretend you are trying to shake up the watch. You see, Harry, that motion is coming from the wrist. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're actually trying to shake your wrist to get the watch moving, just like this. Make sure the motion comes from the arm. That looks great. Now, Harry, I would like for you to pick up the bow. We're going to try vibrato on a harmonic, E, on the A string. Now make sure the motion is coming from the arm once again. Great. Now I want you to slowly add in some weight into your left hand finger, second finger, until it becomes Note. Good. That is a good vibrato. Now, Harry, let's try one more exercise. Do you remember the Wheel song? Yeah. Let's say it together. Wheel, 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 we o we o we o we o we. Now I want you to try. Make sure the vibrato comes with the arm. Great. Now make sure it doesn't come from the wrist. It comes from the arm. 
Now you've seen quite a few vibrato exercises from beginner to more advanced. And you've also seen me teach an actual beginner some cello vibrato. Now, vibrato is very hard, but if you take these steps and try your hardest, you will be well on your way to play vibrato just like the Windhammer School of Music students. Thank <laughs> you.